Good morning. Welcome to the second annual Social Medicine Consortium Conference, Beyond Reimagining and Accelerating Praxis. Three words that are fundamental to the social medicine movement are personal, partnership, and praxis. Personal because the work of social medicine is personal, partnership because it can't ever be done alone, and praxis because it's about both informing ourselves and educating ourselves and taking action. Good morning, my name is Angela Sandra Namwase. I'm from Uganda. And for me, social medicine is personal. Um, this year, my heart aches because um, I found out that almost my whole family was hypertensive on Easter Sunday in a hospital when my father was very sick. Um, I'm hopeful that the future is bright because the National Health Insurance Bill will be discussed in Parliament this year. My name is Michelle Morse and I'm from Philadelphia and live in Boston and social medicine is also personal for me. It's personal because I woke up at 5.30 a.m. on November the 8th, 2016 in Haiti to a new president that I did not accept. Um, but I'm hopeful because the work that I've done since then with the group of people that are in this room and up on stage has kept me inspired and hopeful that change is possible. Good morning. My name is Stacy Midi from Haiti. For me, social medicine is praxis. I have seen myself as a student requiring better education. I have seen my right violated. But I feel comfortable also organizing myself for a better education for tomorrow. Good morning. My name is Mike Westerhouse. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And for me this year, social medicine has been praxis. It's been practice in reflecting on continually in my role as a medical director of a refugee clinic in the U.S. how health and health care remain a commodity for people here in our country. And I saw that through a newly hired community health worker at our clinic who was unable to see many of the patients in our clinic because they didn't have the right insurance that would reimburse them for her to be able to see them. I was inspired by that same community health worker being part of our new social medicine course in Minneapolis and her sharing her tremendous wisdom about how to bear witness to communities and really accompany patients. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tinashe Goronga and I am from Zimbabwe. Social medicine has been, has been partnership to me I was once in a situation where I couldn't take a clinical history from a deaf patient because I did not understand uh, sign language nor did I have an interpreter. However, this inspired a project, a partnership between, between the health professionals, my colleagues, and the Zimbabwe deaf community to identify barriers and address, and address barriers which might be impeded access to, uh, to care for the deaf community. Good morning, my name is Evan Lyon. I grew up in Pennsylvania, but I'm from Chicago, from the south side of Chicago. And for me, this year, and always, uh, social medicine has been about partnerships. I wanted to thank a few partners that have let this happen, certainly everyone who's here, to come and uh, be with us and think about these things. Um, I want to thank the folks who helped this happen who could not travel. Um, and want to also thank our partners here in the city that let this meeting come to life. Um, thank you to Rush University. Um, thank you to DePaul and the Center for Community Health Equity. Uh, thank you to the ACGME, who's here in Chicago and hosted us for the last two days of workshop around organizing. And a, a great thanks for um, our partners here at Malcolm X College. We're very proud to be here in a city college that has um, Minister Malcolm's name on it. Um, my heart has ached around social medicine this year um, when I uh, in, am in clinic, and it made me think of a man I'll call John who came to me uh, not because of physical health, but he was afraid he was going to be arrested. He had become homeless and fell out of the good graces of the criminal justice system that he was supposed to be doing a certain thing for, and he was unable to do that as a homeless person. Partnership to allow him legal access to work on 
decriminalizing mental illness, to work on decriminalizing homelessness is the kind of partnership that I'm excited about here in the city. I'm going to pass on to Angela to introduce our first speaker, but I want to use some words that surrounded uh, Malcolm X when he spoke. As many of you or most of you will know, he was a speaker and a preacher. Today, we're going to hear people speak about health and health inequity and the forces behind these. I've always been inspired by words that surrounded Malcolm. When he would come up to speak, people would say, make it plain. (laughs) Make it plain. I want to invite everyone who's here listening. When you're listening, be attentive. When you speak to each other, and certainly to our folks who have the privilege of being on the stage, make it plain. Let's cut no corners. Let's not couch things. Let's be very plain about what we're here for today. Thank you.